this is my first uh, TCG Yu-Gi-Oh video on my channel. I'm gonna showcase a combo that I thought of uh, for Inferno Knights. Now this is post uh, ban list September 2020. Excuse me. And um, uh, we lost Jet Synchron and O Lion. O Lion was probably our middle step uh, to most of our combos. But uh, you know, I've seen a lot, of, a lot of different takes on the deck now, which is really exciting. I've seen Power Tool Dragon and Armageddon Knight. People are still using Gemba. But uh, this is a different route I wanted to take. Um, the deck doesn't rip like multiple cards out of your hand. At most, maybe three if you get really lucky. Uh, but consistently, uh, you get hand knowledge in one rip with this build. And the reason I like this build is because, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I always uh, seem to draw my bricks. Uh, the two new bricks I added to my deck is uh, Plague Spread of Zombie and Cyber Synchron. Uh, Plague Spread of Zombie is going to be used in every single deck from now on. That uh, uses Needle Fiber. This is uh, the new target. And uh, Cyber Synchron specifically for this combo that I'm going to, be able to show you guys. Um, <clears throat> so let me go over uh, really quick what Cyber Synchron is and why I'm using it. One, uh, because it's a level one and it's a tuner. Uh, so you have, you know, multiple applications there. And uh, another cool effect that it has in the graveyard is that if your monsters or your extra monster would be destroyed by battle card effect, uh, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. So it gives you protection uh, for your any card that's in the EMZ, uh, similar to like a bailings protection. So it doesn't activate, so it's an uh, instead effect. So that's pretty strong. Uh, basically uh, making your, heart, your board that you leave at the end harder to break. So that's pretty good synergy. And there's also a good synergy between Place Better Zombie and uh, Synchron that I'll show you guys. Um, just because uh, if I if you draw the two bricks uh, that you want in your deck, uh, you can still you know combo off. Um, if you didn't draw these two, these would be two other cards. Now this deck that I'm playing, this version of this deck, does play hand traps. I just feel like if you're not playing hand traps in your deck right now, it's going to struggle a lot because there's so many going for strong boards that people are building that you, got, you you hope to draw some kind of disruption to make to make to stop their place or make them like a mediocre play. So this version plays hand traps. So let me just show you the, the quick combo. The combo will consist of using Ogier and uh, Durendal. Uh, there's multiple combinations of this. Uh, Durendal and Ogier can both be searched by Chalice. Uh, also, if you open up Ogier and Renaud, same combo, it's a little different. I might make a different video for that one. But it's a pretty easy combo. Uh, it's very similar to the OCG original one. Uh, I actually took a lot of inspiration from that. And I'll show you guys, uh, I mean, I'll link it down below, uh, the, the original combo from Road of the King. I think uh, Lithium had it on his channel. All right, so let me show you really quick as I get to it. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna summon Ogier, you're gonna activate the effect, and you're gonna go ahead and send Gear Freed. Uh, this whole point of this deck is to get Gear Freed out as soon as possible, because we lost our first, uh, you know, our negate before Halk. So this is this is the, the, the the replacement. So you're gonna use Durendal uh, to uh, pop itself and you're gonna go ahead and search Renaud. I'm pretty sure I'm butchering that name, but it's okay. All right, so then you're gonna go ahead and summon Renaud and you're going to add Gear Freed. And now you're gonna go ahead and link off into Isolde. Uh, you're gonna use the first effect of Isolde to search whatever you want. I like to search uh, Space Connector just because it gives me a, uh, a you know, a third, third round play, I mean the third turn play in case my board does get broken, it gives me two bodies on the board, and then it allows me to link summon. Uh, so that's why I like to search connector, but you can search whatever you want. Now, if you're playing against a good player, they'll wait for you to use a second effect that dumps to negate it. Uh, because if someone veilers you at this point, or somebody uh, imperms you at this point where you can't add, if you have any other extender, you can go into a sec your second insult. Uh, most Inferno Knight decks that list that I'm seeing play two. So you would uh, go to your second and use the second effect. So, but most players would have, good players at least, would wait until you use the second effect to try to hand trap. But with this version, that'll be too late. Uh, so you're gonna go ahead and use uh, Gear Freed effect to summon itself by banishing one spell, then you equip spell, and then you're gonna equip it with Ogier. Uh, now the equip effect, it makes, uh, will give uh, Gear Freed a negate, it turns it live, and it also protects it from destruction, from card effects. So now you're gonna go ahead and use uh, Isolde, you send one, two, three, four equip spells uh, from your deck, and you actually get to summon Oliver from deck. Now, uh, why? Because Oliver is a tuner and it's a level four. Uh, it gives us easy access to dump uh, rolling into the grave super quick. And uh, I don't like running Gemba. Gemba's a, a brick, in my opinion. Doesn't do anything in your hand. Uh, 
But uh, if you draw Oliver uh, in your hand, I'll play two copies, but I might bump it up to three, honestly. Uh, it's an extender, assuming that you have a way to uh, activate the effect in hand. Um, so, in my opinion, it's just better to run uh, multiple copies of this one versus Gumba. That doesn't do anything. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and um, summon Link Cross, everyone's uh, favorite card right now. And uh, you're going to summon two level one tokens on the field. Uh, that these uh, uh, what is it? token markers here are going to be for uh, the levels. So, if anyone sees it, you can follow and they can see it's a level one token here. All right, so you need level four, level one. You're gonna go into rolling, like I mentioned before. You're gonna use rolling effect. Don't forget to uh, resolve at the end phase. You're gonna use these two because rolling is a tuner. You can go straight into hawk, uh, hockey five racks or needle fiber, whatever you guys want to call it. Uh, now, typically you want to summon this from your deck, but because you drew it, uh, this does let you summon from your hand. So you're gonna go ahead and use that, and you're gonna go ahead and link. Uh, I mean, uh, synchro into a metal marcher. This card is going to get banned next next, uh, next list for sure. Unless they ban this one, which I highly doubt. Uh, okay, so you're going to go ahead and use Metal Marcher Effect, which is summon any tuner from your graveyard in defense mode. And again, it's effects. Uh, and uh, you can summon back Roland, which is level 5. So I think you can see where I'm going with this. Uh, Hal is a machine, well, uh, Link to machine, and then uh, Metal Marcher is a machine, which gives you perfect materials for your Aurora Dawn, which uh, gives you three zones here. And you can summon uh, three <coughs> tokens that are all level three. And because it's a level five tuner and a level three monster, you can go ahead and synchro into an easy savage. Uh, now you're gonna go ahead and equip uh, Hulk from the graveyard. You wanna leave um, Isolde in the graveyard because we're gonna need that for the Phoenix Blade. So you're gonna go ahead and give it two negates, uh, one for start, obviously. And now you're gonna banish two warriors. Uh, you wanna leave uh, Oliver and uh, Roland. If you absolutely have to, you can get rid of uh, Oliver, but you wanna leave Roland in the graveyard because this gives you your pop or your Charles. So now you're gonna go ahead and add the Phoenix Blade back to your hand. And now here, uh, <coughs> there's uh, two very two different things you can do. Uh, you can you're gonna summon the Plague Spirit from your graveyard. If you drew the Synchron, you're gonna stack it back on top of your deck, which will make the next play live. If you didn't draw your Synchron, it's something else like another hand trap or you know another extender. Uh, you're gonna send back Phoenix Blade, uh, which therefore you can send uh, with Roland at the end phase to search a warrior. Uh, so you don't lose any card advantage uh, by using Zombie uh, Plague Spider Zombie this way, and uh, you get to have Phoenix Blade back in the graveyard. So it's a pretty cool loop that you can do. You can send this one back, and then Roland effects send it back to the graveyard, and you don't lose any card advantage. Uh, so it's pretty good. Alright, so for this play, because we drew the brick, like I always do, uh, you're going to go ahead and uh, send it back to the top of the deck, and you're going to go ahead and link, uh, again, uh, Synchro uh, level 2 tuner and a level 3 for a level 5, and you're going to summon uh, Axel Synchron, which is a machine, level 5 tuner, and this is where, uh, this is the new card I'm using, uh, it's, it's, just, it's just a step to get into Charles. What you need to do is just uh, use the effect which lets you send a Synchron card from your deck to the graveyard to increase or decrease the level of uh, Axel Synchron. Obviously we're going to increase, so you're going to go ahead and send a card we stacked on top of our deck, uh, which was the, the Cyber Synchron to increase it to level 6. So now you have a level 6 tuner and a level 3 uh, token, which is uh, another Easy Charles. So you can go ahead and equip it now with Oliver which will make Charles uh, untargetable. And then, at the end phase, uh, you can go ahead and uh, use Roland Effect. If you send, if you didn't draw the Synchron, you can go ahead and send this one back uh, from the deck to the grave and you can search a warrior. I like to search another copy of Gear Freed in case this board gets broken, then I have access to a pretty strong monster that's easy to summon. And then you're gonna go ahead and use Roland, uh, I mean Charles Effect to uh, spoke, I mean, uh, Equip the smoke grenade, and then you're going to equip another copy of Ogier to itself. So now you have a Charles that is uh, cannot be destroyed by card effects and cannot be targeted. So it's, it's it's a very strong boss monster to try to get over. And you're gonna go ahead and activate the last effect, which will be to pop the smoke grenade. You use smoke grenade effect to look at your opponent's hand, and you're gonna rip one card out of their hand. Um, if it's a board breaking card like Dark Ruler, obviously discard it. And if they don't, and, or if they have a combo piece, you know they're going to need. Uh, you're going to go ahead and discard that. 
Um, this version of the deck just rips one card up, but the, uh, this version of the deck tries to put out a board out consistently as possible. Um, and really just takes advantage of smoke grenade for the hand knowledge. Right, because you rip one card out, you know they have four cards in hand and whatever they whatever they're gonna draw next turn. So you can time your your negates properly. You know, this way they it's, it's very hard for them to break the board. Right? And you know, it's it's because we didn't use Aurora Dawn effect, right? Um, it, it would get kind of crazy because if you opened up like a gear feed and you didn't need to search it and you have a Renaud and an extender, if you don't use Renaud effect, you can use Renaud effect before end phase to add back the smoke grenade to your hand, equip it to the, uh, to whatever, to the Aurora Dawn, and then use Aurora Dawn effect to pop the Renaud and then use the smoke grenade effect uh, and then use the Aurora Dawn effect to uh, pop your smoke grenade and you get to go ahead and rip two cards out of the hands very situational but it does happen sometimes so this is the typical end board you can bring this board out pretty consistently uh, as long as you open the two card combos or a way to get to Ogier uh, plus uh, Durandal or a way to get to Ogier plus Renown uh, the Isolde combo of uh, just two warriors like a, if you open up just space connector and nothing else no extenders uh, you can still end on this board minus the gear free so it's still a pretty strong board and gives you a lot of card advantage because you still have four cards in your hand and uh, you have all this on the field so if your opponent is able to break your field um, with their hand uh, most of the time they'll waste so many resources trying to break your board um, that by the time it's your turn they're gonna have either a very very subpar board with no negates or maybe one negate but you already have follow-up you you know you search two cards from your deck and you're gonna draw a card. So you're gonna you're gonna start turn three with five cards in your hand, which is insane. And um, don't forget, you have Cyber Synchron to protect the Aurora down from destruction and battle. So if they try to run over air or they try to pop it somehow, all you need to do is just banish this from your graveyard instead, like Bailinx, and you have a protection. So most of the time, when they break the board, they can't get rid of this because they already wasted so many resources trying to get rid of these monsters. Uh, that on on the following turn, you have access to a pop. Uh, you have access to a 2100 beater. You have access to a link three, which just gives you easy access to access code talker um, to just pop their field and go for game. So it it's, gives you a lot of different plays. Uh, like I said, this is my personal build. I'm going to be playing around with it a little bit more. Um, this is just to show anyone who wants to play in Four Nova Nights with this uh, September, post September ban list uh, a, a chance. This would be uh, a good starting point, I feel. So leave a like, this is my first video, leave a comment on what you think would be uh, better choices, if you liked the combo, if you didn't like the combo, uh, criticisms, I'm open to all of that. And um, if you guys want me to post a uh, deck profile, uh, let me know. Um, I don't, you know, let me know, and one person or two people, and that's all I need to put my deck profile. Uh, anyways, uh, thank you for spending the time to watch the video, and uh, peace.